So today I'm going to be showing you how to map the mod wheel to the frequency of the filter or the cutoff. A lot of people say uh, this is not possible, but it actually is possible on the Prophet 6 and the OB6. Uh, the two are interchangeable for this uh, ability. Um, it is a trick, it's a workaround, it's not actually mapping the mod wheel to the filter, but by using the LFO in a very special way, we can get the mod wheel to control the frequency. So let's talk about how to do it. First of all, we're going to take our frequency on the filter and bring it all the way down, so you're not going to hear anything. Next, we're going to ensure that our LFO is on square, and we're going to do LFO sync, and not only that, we're going to turn the initial mount all the way to zero, and we're going to turn the clock all the way to 30, which is as slow as it goes, and then we're going to take the frequency of the LFO and also make that as slow as possible. Then we're going to tell this LFO, which is now a square, a really so slow square wave, we're going to tell it to be mapped to the frequency of the filter. Now we're here. So there you go, that's how you map the mod wheel to the frequency of the filter. Now, with this trick, remember that when you hold a chord, it's going to last about 32 seconds before it turns off, because if you think about a square wave, it's either on or it's off. So if you're going to be holding a chord out for more than 30 seconds, and you want to be able to have control over the uh, mod wheel affecting the filter, this trick won't work. Chances are, if you're playing a pad where you would need to hold a chord out for more than 30 seconds, just do it manually. But this trick totally works, because when you play a note, it will re-trigger the square wave, meaning that it'll never turn off. Let's talk about how to assign the mod wheel to the amp amount, or in more common terms, volume. Yeah, so you can literally can make this control your essential master volume. I've got like a uh, electric piano world sir vibe. But it'd be nice to be able to control the volume of that patch with this. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to go over here, we're going to turn the amp amount all the way down to zero. And now we're going to use the same trick that we did for the cutoff frequency to the amp. So now, effectively, this is almost a volume pedal that you can play with your fingers. All right, there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed this synth trick and uh, you can get a lot out of it for the Prophet 6 and the OB6 or any synth that actually uh, is more old school and only has one LFO and does not have assignable options.